hello 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 everyone everyone's everyone's <laughs> welcome to your spiritual liaison one two three where the truth will be told get your affirmations and your manifestations on through meditation love yourself First, live your absolute best life. And please be sure to get an amazing laugh on every single day. It is so healing. Um, okay, so this is going to be for the sign of Pisces and Capricorn. So you already know that Pisces, this is your side here. And then we're going to have the Capricorns over here. And in the middle, in the middle of it all, in the middle of it all, where are my other cards? Oh, okay. In the middle of it all is right there. Whatever, 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 baby. I used to love that song by Maxwell. Whenever, when. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> I'm about to go off into something else. Okay. So, let's see what's going on with your Capricorn. Okay. So, death card. Capricorn feels like something has come to an end. Um, the relationship has ended. The connection has ended. Um, so mentally, they feel like this is dead. Something has moved on. It's no, it's like mentally, it's like, okay, you know, it's time. It's like cobwebs in it. It's like something that they're not really trying to focus on anymore. Um, on your side, the daughter of pentacles. And so Pisces, you could, so with, okay, I don't want to go too quick with this. With Capricorns, it's like they're seeing you all you all have come to an end um i don't really see that this person is wanting to actually like really reconnect or they they don't have a lot of hope that it's going to anything is going to happen um but i get that you saw this capricorn as sort of responsible kind-hearted towards you and even sort of supportive at times um you could see this person as being, they're sort of like the kind of person that's behind the scenes. They're, they don't like to be in the spotlight all the time. You know, they're kind of shy. Um, you see them as a hard worker. And that makes sense because most of the Capricorns I know are really hard workers. You also saw them as sort of responsible in certain ways. Um... It's like people, you could have saw this Capricorn as a lot of people depending on them too. Like a lot of people, like they have a lot of responsibilities that they have to take care of. And so it's like, you know, they have like a lot of family or something that they have to take care of. This Capricorn could love nature. It's like they thrive or they feel better in nature or something. But I get that this Capricorn really did sort of like see you all as like just things not working out for whatever the reason, whatever that reason was, you know, um, this, this something came to an end. It's like they put closure to it, you know, so it's like they don't see it's like they're they're not going to keep denying that something has ended between you all. And it's like they don't, it's like they don't want to even have to deal with any drama. They could see you as drama filled Pisces. So they're sort of like keeping their distance. Um, and they could have, they could have kept their distance until they got over this connection. So they could have also like changed, like, you know, uh, started dealing with someone else who they felt like was a better fit for them that was more positive than you then we have balance and this card says i bring a state of perfect harmony into my world and i do not and i do so without judgment so 
Pisces, I get that things aren't balanced between you all. And it's unbalanced because you all are judging each other. You could have looked at this Capricorn as like they're very responsible. They take care of their family, things like that. But something about this Capricorn, they looked at you as drama filled. And it's like whatever. And, and so they kept their distance to sort of keep some sort of drama between you all down. And I don't see that there's balance between you all anymore. I don't see that there's an even balance harmony between you all anymore with the nine of swords in reverse and then we have the six of wands so pisces you could have been looking at a situation with this capricorn as like wanting some sort of victory with them like you kind of you you could have looked at it like you know, you all were going to, you thought you all were going to have some sort of victory or like, you know, moved on or something like that. Or you could have noticed that this Capricorn was happy to move on or something like you could have felt like they were happy to move on from the connection with you all. Um, this Capricorn felt like you caused them a lot of anguish, though. They felt like, you know, you it, there was something, this Capricorn could have been up at night in their head or something like that. Or they feel like that they caused you a lot of anguish and sleepless nights, insomnia, like you looked at them as sort of like a nightmare. That you may even have regrets from dealing with them. But I don't get that you look like you, I don't get that you see that they I even see this this Capricorn could have said that you even sort of like you felt guilty about how things ended up or something like that. Or you were suffering from depression. But I don't get <clears throat> I don't get that you saw them in a way where. You don't, you're not looking at them how they're looking at you. It's like they're looking at you in a pessimistic way, a pessimistic way. And you're looking at them in sort of an optimistic way. Like you're, you know, it's like you wanted some sort of victory with this Capricorn and it did not, it, or you thought there was going to be a victory or something. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So with this, you know, I, I think I did a video about health is wealth or something like that. Um, this Capricorn, even though, like I said, you're looking, it's like this Capricorn is looking at you sort of in a way where they could even be feeling like you brought a lot of despair and depression on yourself. And they felt like you were drama filled and that's why they sort of had to keep their distance, put a death to the connection. They felt like this, this could have been a Capricorn. This like with the, with the, if you see like she has cobwebs around it. So this could have been something that was old. Like, you know, something that is from the past. Or you either were together or like knew each other for a very long time or something. It's like they feel like this connection is dead and over. Um, With the Six of Wands, Pisces, it's like. I get that at one time you did sort of hold out hope between you all. Like you sort of held out hope that things would, you know, you all would be on better times or something. Um, but I, then I get that you were sort of kind of, it, it's like the, the, it's like, you know, you sort of kind of like looked at it like a victory with this person. But then I also get that you sort of like were happy to see them move on. It's kind of... The energy is confused. It's, it's kind of confusing to me because now I'm, it's like 
you saw this person in a good light. You wanted to have a victory with them. You saw them as responsible, like they will take care of their family. But then I also get that you sort of were happy that they did move on. Maybe you felt like it was off balance and unhealthy between you all. This person, this Capricorn could have been facing some health issues or Pisces, you could have been facing health issues or something. Both of you all could be trying to take care of your bodies better now or something. Let's move on. And then the seven of swords, but it's in reverse. So it's like this Capricorn Pisces. Um, if there was any, any situation where there was like secrecy or like, you know, whatever is going on between you all, then we have the justice card on your side. But if there was any sort of like secrecy, mistrust, things like that, it's like this Capricorn is sort of seeing things like in a, in a light where, you know, it's, I don't see that they are ever like, they're not too quick to trust you again or something. I don't get that they are big on trying to see things work out between you all. You could even feel like this Capricorn sort of got their karma. Like they got some sort of karma or something with this justice card. Something could have happened. Um, or you may be seeing this Capricorn get some sort of karma. But I get that um, Pisces. It's it's something I, I'm trying to let me let me look at these cards a little more because it's it's an energy that I'm getting that I, I just don't quite understand between you all because it's sort of like one minute I I kind of so maybe I I'm picking up on more than one Pisces because one minute I'm feeling like you all were sort of you were. You looked at them as responsible. You looked at them in a good way. You sort of wanted to have a victory with them. But then I see that you were kind of happy they moved on or something. So maybe time, time plays a, is a significant role in this, you know, because maybe in the beginning you saw them as good. And then over time, you're kind of happy that they moved on. Um... With this, with this seven of, of swords in reverse, it's like this person, you know, also felt like, like you could have, you're the type of person, like you um, advise, you, you give bad advice or something, or either like you, somebody was giving you bad advice and you listened to what somebody else said. They could also feel like, you know, you listen too much to what other people say, like other people were talking too much about this connection and it was causing drama and you were listening to what other people said too much or you were listening like somebody could have told you something about this Capricorn and you listened to it and it caused a bunch of drama between you all. And I get that, you know, like I said, with this justice card, that you could be feeling like, you know, that karma, this Capricorn sort of got their karma or something like that. Or you saw them get some sort of karma or something. And karma doesn't necessarily have to be negative. People just associate karma with negativity. But there is good and bad karma. Some people get good karma. Some people get bad karma, right? Um, it's like, and then we have the successes in the middle. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. That's a beautiful card. I love those colors. Um, so I get that something happened between you and this Capricorn. Like I said, this could be somebody who you knew for a very long time, or this could be somebody who you were dating for a long time. You all, something. 
or you all could have had some sort of past connection in a past life and it just sort of carried over into this life. But I get Pisces, it's like you all put distance between yourself, but there's a silent love there. There's a there's still some sort of silent love there. It's an unspoken love that this Capricorn sort of had for you and that you have for them. I get that you both secretly, you may be in another connection right now, Pisces. They could be in another connection. It's like you all are secretly wishing each other balance, health, and success. But I get that you could have saw this, this Capricorn get some sort of karma. It could have been good karma or bad karma. But I get that this Capricorn, it was like you were seeing this Capricorn in a positive way at one time. And then something changed because then you, be, you became happy that they moved on. So maybe you met somebody else who changed your energy, took your attention away from this person or something. But then this Capricorn, it looks like they weren't seeing you in a good light. It's almost like they... They felt like you brought despair and depression into your own life or something. They also wanted to keep their distance because they also felt like there was some sort of issue with um, you all communicating and things being balanced correctly between you all. So I get that they sort of like put a death to this mentally, emotionally and decided to go ahead and move on. I get that they did move on with someone else. Okay, we're going to get a little deeper into this in the extended reading. Thank you so much for coming to my channel and hanging out with me. I appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart, and I will see you there.